If you have used any modern website, then chances are you have interacted with a website that uses REST. Even YouTube uses RESTful URLs on its site, but what exactly is REST? For starters, REST stands for Representation State Transfer, and is just a fancy way of saying that a server responds to create, read, update, and delete requests in a standard way. The idea behind REST is to treat all server URLs as access points for the various resources on the server. For example, in this URL, users represents the resource that the server is exposing. As mentioned earlier, REST needs a way to create, read, update, and delete these resources, and it does so with the following five URLs. The first two URLs did not have an ID, so they act on the entire user's resource, while the last three URLs do have an ID in their URL and thus act only on a single user resource, but as you may notice, there are only two distinct URLs. This is because REST uses the four basic HTTP actions, get, post, put, and delete, to determine what to do with each URL. If we add in those actions to the URLs, it is much easier to see what each of the URLs does. The first URL we have is the get users URL, and it is used to get a list of all users. In REST, when a get URL does not have an ID, it acts upon the entire resource and will always return a list of every item in that resource. The get action in REST corresponds with reading data. The second URL, which is almost identical to the first, is used to create a new user. In REST, the post action corresponds with creation and should always be used on the entire resource by not using an ID in the URL. The third URL is another get URL, but this URL is for getting only a single user based on the ID that is in the URL. The ID portion of the URL is used by REST to determine which resource from the collection of resources it should act upon. In the case of this URL, it is used to return the user with that ID. The fourth URL is the most confusing of them all, but it is used to update a user with the given ID. The put action in REST corresponds with update and works very similarly to post, but instead of creating a new resource, it updates an existing resource. Lastly, we have the most straightforward URL of them all, which is for deleting a user with a specific ID. The delete action in REST does exactly what you would think and it deletes the resource with the given ID. In order for a website to use REST, the URLs do not need to be formatted exactly the same as above. For example, using these URLs would still be considered RESTful, but most applications will use the previously mentioned URLs. The only thing that matters with REST is that the URLs used represent a resource, in this case a user, and that they support creating, reading, updating, and deleting from that resource using the HTTP actions get, post, update, and delete. And that's all there is to how RESTful URLs work. In the next video, we're going to be covering MVC, which is the most popular architecture used to create backend web servers. Make sure to check out that video linked over here when it comes out, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos in this series. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.